So why should you meditate? Uh, there are so many reasons to meditate. Firstly, the amount of research on the physical benefits of meditation uh, is amazing. Lower stress, lower anxiety, lower depression, um, better recovery from operations, greater fertility. There's, there's so much out there. Um, so physically, it's great. Secondly, what I tell all my CEOs and executives that I coach is it's fantastic for brain functioning. Uh, you have better cognitive functioning. Research tells us you have higher efficiency and productivity. Research also tells us your creativity, innovation, problem solving and strategic thinking are all improved after just a few weeks of meditating. So, so for my CEOs and executives, meditation is really key. And then finally, for um, what I love, is for life satisfaction and happiness. They've wired up monks at, uh, I think it's Stanford University, and they found that the monks that have meditated a lot have happiness centers in their brain that are up to four times as large as people that don't meditate. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to sit in the Himalayas for 10 years wearing an orange robe and having a cold shoulder. What it does mean is that they, they've actually tested people that have been meditating for six weeks. And it's only in six weeks you can get this, the same benefits of your happiness center improving and you're reporting greater life satisfaction and happiness. So for me, the question really is, why wouldn't you meditate?